Well, hello, everybody. Uh, Tom Boone here with the Outreach Foundation, and it's great to have you following us uh, on our journey through uh, the southern part of Germany, known as Bavaria. Uh, we are here with our host, Sarkis Benjamin, who is the pastor of the Presbyterian Church of Bayern, and I'm delighted to introduce to you two of our team members, uh, Rachel Humberger and Jeff Wood. And why don't you both just tell us a little bit about yourselves. Rachel, let's start yes. with you. My name is Rachel Hamburger, and uh, I'm pastor of Smyrna Presbyterian Church in Waynesboro, Virginia. I'm Jeff Wood, and I'm pastor of First Presbyterian Church in Sebastian, Florida, on the mid-Atlantic coast of Florida. Well, and, and thanks. So I, I know this is a, a first for both of you in two ways. Well, first of all, it's your first Outreach Foundation visit, and I'm so glad that you all um, joined us on this visit. I know that, Jeff, for your case, you've been following us for quite a number of years. Um, and, Rachel, I know you have been following us as well, too. Um, but this visit grabbed both of you. Uh, it was like a, there was a reason to join us um, uh, and I'm, I'm just curious about that, and since it's with the Persian diaspora, it's your first time with the Persian diaspora as well. Tell us a little bit about the why. Well, I have family in Germany, and I have a heart for Germany, uh, and I've been watching a little bit how Germany has received many immigrants and refugees. Mm. Um, and I think that's a wonderful thing um, to be have open doors to people who are escaping and trying to find a better life. Um, and uh, I also have developed a heart for uh, the Middle East and uh, for uh, people of the Muslim faith. And I was so excited to learn more about how they are hearing about Jesus and coming to Jesus Christ in a, a very significant way, the Iranian, the Persian people. And I was just a, 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 tremendously excited that I was drawn to that as I saw a um, flyer in the mail about upcoming trips. I was just very drawn hmm. to meet Persian people who are coming to know Jesus. So that's, that's great. Thank you. How about you, Doug? Well, uh, I wanted to use my uh, time for serving, and serving a fledgling church in Germany uh, was very attractive to me. Uh, I also have lived abroad and felt what it's like to be displaced, and uh, so I have a heart for refugees. I also had a roommate of my son's, Hussein, who we would have at our house, and he was so gracious, such a wonderful young man. And I would say something else like what Rachel said was the Middle East, so uh, typically it's just a blank spot as far as Christian movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yet for centuries, millennia, it's, it's had Christians there, including Persian Christians. So to get into that with the Persian diaspora, and think of what God could be doing because of their movement and their needs and their special perspective on the gospel. It's really interesting yeah, to me. That's great. I, you know, I think those are those are compelling reasons, guys. Just thanks for sharing those. I, you just you mentioned the word needs, and um, one of the things that you were both tasked with. So we're in a conference. Uh, uh, this is a an annual conference of, of that Sarkis Benjamin puts together. It, it brings together the Persian diaspora from all around Germany. Well, one of the things that you were tasked with is to serve on the intercessory prayer team, and you really are are right in the front passenger seat with hearing stories, uh, very deeply personal stories. And we won't ask you to get into the details, but maybe share with our, our viewers, what is it that, um, what are they asking to have prayed about? How can we maybe join you all uh, in in that effort to lift our brothers and sisters up in prayer? What, what are uh, some of the things that you might want to share? Sure, well, uh, one was just that 
first of all, it was a challenge to be asked to be on the intercessory prayer team because the idea of praying on a weekend was kind of daunting to me. And I thought it might be good for me. <laughs> uh, so there is a selfish part of it, too. But we had, and directly to your question about what we've been hearing, first of all, they've shared testimonies of healing which is good to hear before you go in because you start getting asked about prayers that have to do with ailments. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, you know, let's just go straight for praying for healing. Mm -hmm. And then there's the part of them being in a foreign place and trying to adjust to new laws and particularly residence permits. Um, that's been an issue for mm -hmm. several, asking us to be a part of uh, praying that the log jam of bureaucratic red tape would open up so that they can live just more comfortably and peacefully. Mm -hmm. right. I think, um, like Jeff, when I was asked to be on the intercessory prayer team, it was a kind of a daunting thing, um, a privilege. And what I've noticed is there's such warmth as we came to be with them. Um, so many joy and smiles, and yet when so many have asked for prayer, and when they come into the prayer room, you can see just the pain that some of them are in for for family, missing family, mm -hmm. for um, relational challenges in a new place, uh, you know, for loneliness, uh, um, Kids. And children yearning for their children to not only um, adjust and know Jesus, but to be protected. So you just see a lot of needs and burdens that mm -hmm. they bring um, to prayer. And it's a privilege to be part of that. Thanks, Jeff and Rachel. Now, Sarkis told me that there are a few prayer requests coming in from Iran. Has he shared that yet? Not yet. With you? Okay, so that's to come. Well, that will be... One of the things maybe we capture on the on the subsequent video is right. uh, what they're praying for in the or asking to have prayer for in Iran because I know that's coming here. Your right. Well, we did have spontaneous prayer in the room where the mm. congregation was asked yeah. to stand. Yeah. Some prayed for the liberty and freedom of their home country, yes. the yes. well-being of those yes. folks there. So it'll be interesting to hear from them mm -hmm. through that. That moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, listen, thank you all thank for you. making the, the courageous step to come on this uh, this mission visit. And um, this vlog. And, and be, I'm sorry? <laughs> and this vlog. And this vlog, <laughs> yes. Thank you for that's that's more courage than the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. And thank you all for uh, continuing to trace our way with us through uh, uh, our journey in Germany with uh, Sarkis Benjamin's congregation. Uh, thank you for your prayers, and, and God bless you.